The Law Society of Kenya in fighting seems to be far from over. The leadership wrangles bedeviling the body mandated to advise members of the legal fraternity, the government and the public on matters administration of justice in Kenya seems to be escalating, threatening the unity of the organization. What started out as a suspension issued by LSK President Nelson Harvey to the CEO to create room for investigations into trips made by lawyers and whose details still remain scanty has continued to take new twists. The Law Body Council would overturn the decision by the president in a majority ruling that sought to reinstate the CEO on October of this year. A decision that would not sit down well with Harvey, who maintained that the CEO is in office illegally. Is that nine council members voted in favor of retention of the CEO, which means reinstatement. Three council members, including the LSK president, voted in favor of or made a decision in favor of her removal. The law, as I've said, under section 26, subsection 6 of the LSK Act, the decision to remove the council, the CEO of the, of the LSK, therefore are failed because the majority of the voter the majority of council members held that he should be able to continue and now the war seems to escalate even further with a motion in place that seeks to overturn harvest leadership already in pipeline According to the motion filed by LSK member Charles Midega, Harvey is accused of belittling the powers of LSK Council on the occasion he failed to uphold the decision on reinstatement of the CEO, Masi Wamboa. Harvey is also allegedly accused of frustrating efforts of the Secretariat in collaboration with the Vice President Caroline Kamende, thus hindering the execution of duties. Also on the list of accusations leveled against the LSK president is issuing unilateral decision without considering the secretariat by issuing illegal termination of services of staff members. Making on the list are accusations that LSK president has continued to air views on Twitter while purporting to be the official communications. The lawyer says the wrangles have been detrimental to members and society in general and once interim president elected as the removal process is ongoing. Harvey, on his part, has thrown the ball to external forces, including the state, that he blames for interfering with the society's work. There are those amongst us and in the public who claim that we are washing our dirty linen in public. Let me dissuade you of that notion. Examples abound of CEOs and public officers who, despite termination of services, cling to office to conceal their wrongdoing or just out of outright refusal to let go. Mamas at the society indicate that the rivalry could go way back to the time that Harvey was first vying for the presidency, where it is said that Harvey blamed the CEO over the decision to bar him from contesting during the 2017 elections. Martin Opio, K24 TV.